Hi, welcome to my deck profile of my Evocator Geminis. Uh, this deck is really not that great in uh, today's meta. Uh, a little bit more better back when it first came out, back, like, I say, like, up to 2010. Um, but still just a fun deck to play, and it's been my favorite deck to play uh, since forever. Uh, you know, I've been playing this game for about seven years, and this has still been my favorite deck. Okay, so start off, we have... Three, Evocator Chevalier is the name of the deck. Um, so I'm going to just go through the list really quick and then I'll explain some combos and how the cards interact at the end. Three, Neos Alias. One, Tuned Magician. One, Dark Procuria. Uh I only have one Mathematician. Uh, this is kind of like just a proxy for one. It's actually a Forbidden Lance. Uh, but it should be two... Uh, mathematicians. So this is where the deck gets really interesting is at this point because I'm also running two King of the Swamps and I do have one Palmerization. I'll explain why this is good. One Maxi. Two Effect Veilers just because these like the only two other hand traps I have. Probably better to run like Ghost Ogre or something like that. Uh, depending on how like expensive you want to get. Uh, three part of duality. You can get some pretty bad hands, so this helps in your opening hand just to thin out. And again, with deck thinning, foolish burial, uh, board wipe, dark hole, deck thinning, reinforcement of the army, uh, emergency call, two emergency calls. You got three supplies. I'd really love a reprint of this at a higher rarity, that'd be like the best, but, anyways. Uh, Gemini Spike, super rare. Two Miracle Fusions and one Polymerization, and that's going to round it out for the spells. Now we have Solemn Warning, Bombless Trap Hole, which I kind of wonder why is it falling out of favor this format. I don't really see a lot of deck profiles of people running Bombless Trap Hole anymore, which is interesting, but this is just like a budget fun deck, so. You can kind of get away with running bottomless. Two Call of the Haunteds, another card that isn't really played that often, which is interesting. Uh, just shows how far the game has evolved. Uh, two Dark Bride because I'm a scrub. And two more spaces for traps. Uh, these could be like Solemn Strikes, um, Torrential Tributes, uh, just any other like trap card that, you know, controls the board. And again, these are just two more full, uh, Forbidden Lances. Man, I just have a bunch of old cards. I haven't bought new cards in forever. I don't know if you could tell. Um, and then for the extra deck, I'll start off with the Exceeds. One Gagaga Cowboy. One Castell. Two Heroic Champion Excalibur. The most important one of the deck is Blade Army Ninja. Uh, gotta run two of these. One Elemental Hero Great Tornado, which you don't need to run this guy. Uh, you could, might want to run and run this guy, uh, Shining. You want to have two Zeros and two Nova Masters, which is kind of like the two main key players of the deck. Then for Synchros, which you don't really go into, you have Crimson Blader, Stylish Dragon, and Black Protego, just because you can. Um, so, okay. Going on to combos of the deck. So, do, 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 do. getting stuff ready. <laughs> so, okay. 
These are kind of the main combo cards you want to get to. So, like, this is why you have power duality to get to your foolish burial, emergency calls, reinforcements, and mathematicians in your opening hands. Uh, so now you could just thin out your deck and dump everything in the graveyard. The thing you want to dump in the graveyard first is these two cards. This guy you're going to want in your hand. Uh, and the reason why that is, um, it's for a couple of reasons. So, what you're really doing with all of these cards is setting up the plays where you can use Supervise and have Nias Alias in the graveyard, use Evocator's effect, and uh, pop your Supervise to pop one of their cards, your opponent's cards, summon Alias, and then from here you can exceed. And ideally you're going to want to use his effect to clear out the board and get out uh, Blade Arm and Ninja. Um, and go for like 44 points of damage. Um, okay, so another reason why King of the Swamp is really good is uh, you could use him uh, with these two cards and pretty much get into any of your elemental hero cards. Um, but here's one thing that's interesting. Uh, you could use Future Fusion, even though Future Fusion is kind of terrible after the Errata. Uh, but you could still, uh, well, you don't get to dump until later, but like if you do happen to use Future Fusion, dump the things into the graveyard, the rulings still work for King of the Swamp, uh, because the conditions is a water monster. So you need an elemental hero monster and a water monster, which King of the Swamp is. So it counts as the conditions for that. So you could use Miracle Fusion and summon Zero, which is a pretty strong card. I don't know if you know what it does. As soon as it leaves the field at all, it blows up your opponent's field. Um, and then Nova Master is good for just putting on pressure. Uh, but yeah, the, these are basically like the main combos. Is why Evocator is like the center of it. Um, is that he kind of plays with this guy who plays. I don't know. They all interact kind of together. It's pretty cool. And everything right here is just to set it up. Um, Spark is really good to set up as well. Because, you know, it just pop a level 4 and then pop one of their cards, draw a card. So, yeah, it's a fun deck. We really love this deck. Just how uh, versatile just one card can be. Which is why it's my favorite Gemini. Why it's my favorite uh, like card to make decks around. It's a fun deck. Uh... But thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, sorry about the awkward angle. It's the one, only one I could work out uh, with my setup right now. Um, please leave a like if you enjoyed the deck or if you get any ideas from it. Leave a comment. Any more ideas you have for the deck and what you thought of it. And subscribe. Uh, it really helps out the channel. I'm trying to become more of a YouTube person. I'm actually going to try to put some effort this time because I've always uploaded videos but never really stuck to it this time i'm trying to but thank you so much for watching really do appreciate it uh gemini's forever yeah